it, it really does come back to the law of attraction, like we talked about, and the, the baggage that you have within you that's blocking you. But there are other things as well. Um, we came up with, a, um, with an Unlock Your Abundance uh, training course that's specifically for the body code, where we use the body code and we, we teach you how to really totally unlock your ability to manifest abundance. Um, a lot of the time, though, all you really need is the emotion code. And um, remember that probably 80% of the baggage, 80% uh, of the imbalances that we have as human beings is actually our emotional baggage. And the, the emotion code is great to get rid of that baggage. So, um, so yeah, I mean, we, uh, we do webinars on that uh, monthly where we're teaching people about that. And it's, uh, it's pretty exciting that... Uh, uh, that we can unlock, we can get rid of the baggage that we have and then manifest uh, a totally different life. And I'll tell you something that I've learned, um, and you, you may already all know this, but what I really firmly believe is that um, our natural state is to be spontaneous creators of abundance. That's really who we are. And I believe that because... Uh, uh, I had a, a profound spiritual experience. I've had quite a few in my life, but when I was 15 years old, I had this experience where I learned that we're not alone here, that we're here for very specific reasons, that uh, that, that higher power, uh, God, however you want to refer to it, however you look at it, is actually real and loves us very, very much. And that we are the offspring of that creator and we have those abilities within us so when we're here in this world, what happens is, first of all, um, we come here and our memories are blocked from our life before. We don't, we don't know what we're doing here. We just end up here one day and um, we have to try to figure it out. And the first thing that starts happening is people start lying to us and telling us all the things we can't do, right? And so we end up getting a really distorted view of what we're capable of. And I'll tell you something. In fact, let me share something with you uh, all that I, I don't share very many times. But, um, you know, in the in the webinars and things that I've taught for many, many years, I taught what I had heard from other people, that the uh, the subconscious mind is um, 90, 95 percent of our being and our intelligence. And the conscious mind is maybe five percent. I started, started out years ago. It was, I thought it was 10 percent. And then it went to five percent. And. About a year ago, I was, I was sitting one day thinking about this, and I realized I'd never really actually tested this. So I prayed and I asked for some guidance, and I started testing. And here's what I found. <laughs> this is pretty amazing. Let me get a piece of paper. Here's what I found. Our, our conscious mind accesses <gasps> this much of our total wow. intelligence. Wow. Wow. That's a, a, a decimal point followed by eight zeros and a one percent. Huh. Now you, I would, I would strongly recommend, you know, you test this yourself and see if you don't get the same answer. Now, what does that tell us? Well, when people die and they go to the other side huh. and, um, and they come back uh, and tell us about it. And the, the ones that come back are the only ones that we hear from. <laughs> of course, like the other ones, st they stay gone, right? <laughs> but the ones that come back, they say amazing things. And one of the things that they say is, you know, when I got to the other side, uh, you know, my body was on the, on the operating table or whatever. When I got to the other side, I found that my mind expanded to this point that was just unbelievable. And I could ask as many questions as I wanted to simultaneously, mm -hmm. thousands of questions simultaneously. All the answers flew in or all the answers would just flow in instantly and be comprehended and understood perfectly. And imagine having a mind like that. You know what? I honestly believe with all my heart and soul, that's who we really are. See, that's who mm -hmm. we really are. We come into this world and our access for certain reasons, our access, our ability to access our total intelligence is dialed back so far that if it were, if, we're, if it were dialed back any further, we'd be completely stupid. <laughs> and I think that some people, they went a little too far, maybe, you know, that happened to them. But, um, but anyway, so imagine if we could access, if we could move the decimal point one place, imagine 
would you know it'd be just unbelievable so i think that there are reasons for this you know it's all divinely orchestrated you know and we're here to learn to choose for ourselves good versus evil and right versus wrong and you know to choose to live happily and have joy etc um but i really truly believe that if you are having any kind of symptoms in your life if there's anything going on in your life that is short of total abundance and total love and total vibrant health for you it's because you have imbalances going on if you can't find your soulmate you got imbalances going on the most common kind of imbalance is emotional baggage right if you can't um if you can't seem to keep enough money in your bank account that's a symptom just like a headache is a symptom just like nausea is a symptom right um so i i have come to look at it differently now i look at uh I, I look at a person as a, as a whole and whatever is going on in their life that is short of perfection and abundance in every single facet is because of imbalances mm -hmm. and finding those and getting rid of those is what we, we all do right as uh, mm -hmm. as practitioners and uh, that's what's really exciting about this work because mm -hmm. we all are full of imbalances and so I mean imagine you know if we can uh, if we actually someday we'll have to put that out there and really you know sincerely contemplate um working on these people that are you know kind of in control of things yes mm -hmm. and then maybe even the people mm -hmm. that are controlling them wouldn't that be amazing yes <laughs> wow 